Hey guys, so I'm kind of down with fever. Uh, I just want to first give fair warning there might be sounds of me coughing through this video. <laughs> so, again, I want to apologize for me not releasing the video on time. But again, like I said, I was going to release this before training arena. So, here you are. Without wasting too much time, let's get into the video. So first things first, you guys should please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate it if you help me on this journey. Now, about the class. Now just think of words like OP or broken. Have you thought of words like that? Good. Now multiply that word three times. <laughs> That's how crazy this class is. And let me give you a quick description. You know the phantom sounds Evolve EX that cuts down the cooldown of everything by half well that ability is just one of the buff this class can give itself it can immediately remove the cooldown of all its skills and that isn't even the highest ranked buff <laughs> now the illusionist is a magic class with one of the shortest range in the game it's more of a cross between the reaper soul dancer and phantom sound if you have used this class or after watching this video i'm pretty sure you'll see the similarities now this class hits like a truck, wait, 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 this hits even more than that. Let's just say it makes a blade master seem like a soul dancer. <laughs> yeah, I think that explains it. The illusionist strength comes mainly from its many buffs, debuffs and CC ability which honestly makes the phantom sound seem more like an amateur in every sense of the way. I mean like, who the hell designed this class? <laughs> now for stats. In no particular order, you need to increase your magic attack, next will be your wind attack, of course, then attack power, just follow the game here, attack power, this is highly recommended, increase your critical, <laughs> sorry, then you want to average your multi-strike, CDR and defenses. This is a DPS focus class, so we're just going to try to maximize that, you'll see that later when we get to the talent. If you're a casher, obviously you can pretty much upgrade all your stats, but for low or non-spenders, like me uh, we have to prioritize certain stats because of limited resources so that's it for the stats the first skill is showtime which deals a little damage and gives one random buff ranging from shields healing dodge rate increase critical attack power and multi-strike increase and a couple other buffs this skill can also reduce your opponent's defense freeze them or petrify them it has a lot of debuffs as well so yeah, kind of crazy. The next skill is Predicament Escape. It immediately teleports you and gives you invisibility, but know that you can only use this when you are petrified, stunned, or in other words, controlled. But also understand that you cannot use this skill when you are being docked by a soul dancer, so try not to get docked by them. Next skill is Magic Mirror. This creates clones that last for 5 seconds and a maximum of 10 seconds depending on the amount of fantasy stars you use. The clones also attack the targets you are attacking and they can release some of your skills as well, which is kind of crazy. You can create a minimum of 2 clones and a maximum of 3 clones, I'll show this later. This skill cannot be used when clones are already on the field, so better to use other skills. The next skill is Cube Cage. This is the biggest hitter of all the illusionic skills. It's also the one with the longest cooldown as no matter your CDR level, this skill's cooldown will always be 20 seconds. It's kind of like the cat clone of Reapers. This skill traps your opponents for 6 seconds and deals damage over time, about 2 million minimum damage. Now let me clarify, your Reapers clone, your Assassin's Void, none of them can escape this cage once trapped in it, so best not to take your chances I guess. Now I think only the Illusionist Predicament Escape skill can escape this cage. Also the cooldown of this skill can be reset by the legendary buff from the 5th skill of this class. So yeah, this class is OP. The final skill of the Illusionist class is Gift of Destiny. This skill consumes all your fantasy stars to give you 1 to 5 buffs. The buffs are ranked based on colors. The fire element buffs adds magic attack of up to 150,000 and it also increases the damage of your cube cage skill and removes your skills cooldown. The water buff which is blue increases your HP by 400,000 and also adds to your fantasy stars. The wind buff which is green gives you 12% movement speed and adds an extra clone to your magic mirror skill giving you 3 clones instead of 2. 
The Earth buff, which is yellow, increases your defenses and blocks up to 100,000 damage 10 times. And finally, the Spirit buff, which is white, gives you super armor plus your attacks will not miss. Now in the core department, I'll give you three cores, three core build. The first is, which is my personal favorite, the balanced build. This includes 9 fire, 5 water and 2 wind. This is a balanced build and it works for every class I believe. Next is the DPS build which includes 9 fire, 5 wind and 2 water. This is focused on DPS. And finally we have the crit build which is 9 wind, 5 fire and 2 water. So yeah, these are the three builds. Now for the allies I'll suggest Airy. Either the, the original Airy, Tolid Airy, any of the Airy, except Wedding Airy. Yeah, except Wedding and I think Christmas Airy. Those two Airies, I don't the think they're that good for this class. See, they are ultimate and passive. It's quite terrible, so I won't, I won't advise you to use the Wedding Airy or Christmas Airy. Any of the Airy. Next will be Love Johan. The third ally I'll suggest will be Nono, the original Nono. Don't try to figure me out. My nickname is Little Witch. And finally, Caesar. Now you can go with Captain Caesar. I want to use Captain Caesar. You can use the original Caesar. These are some of the allies I'll suggest for you. I think that's about four allies or six allies. <laughs> so, yeah, just take your pick and use any of them. Here we go. For the talent and deep talent, um, I have two mainly two builds the jack of all this is the one i used in my previous video which i released and honestly it kind of reminds me of the soul dancers build anyway this one increases your damage it's actually focused on your clones actually you see you have thousand faces which increases your damage based on the number of clones you have normally you have two clones but with the gift of destiny's buff you can actually have three clones so that will be five ten ten percent to fifteen percent increase in all your damage as long as clones are on the field then you have authority which also increases your damage by four percent and can stack up to three times so that's actually twelve percent increase in damage so if you add this twelve percent increase in damage to this ten percent increase in damage you actually already have twenty two percent damage increase <laughs> so yeah excuse me <clears throat> yeah this is a damage focused build followed by the S level talent Pope. This one is also based on your clones. It increases your attack power rate. In other words, it just helps you deal a lot more damage as long as clones are on the field. And finally, you have your A level talent Crown. This just helps increase the um, buff you get from Gift of Destiny. So normally, you, if you do not feel comfortable with this build, you can actually switch Pope. You can switch this for either this Abstinence to increase your cubes damage or you can switch to this if you wanna you know if you are focused on the dodge build but that's it for this build and the deep talent for this Now, just like the name says, this one focuses on absorbing damage, but yeah, it is kind of awesome in its way. Normally, I would advise you use this for team, team events, but still, the Jack of All actually works for team events. I have tested both of them out, and yeah, so the deep talent for this one.
now if you are below level 130 you won't be able to unlock all this so definitely i would advise you try for this talent is to your focus is to go for this and yes the next you can just unlock this to here and finally go for the left side get as much of it as you can and that's it for the talent and deep talent now for everything i use itana rune so with this ex you'll be able to defeat even the blade masters quite easily but you have to use this constructively now profile is for those who want to use the dodge build i don't really use the dodge build so i stick with eternal rune now if you want to focus on the dodge build then profile is your guy now for the other exes uh, of course we're going to remove minefield this is very good for this class and holy judgment because these two ex are kind of good for all classes so yes you can use either minefield or holy judgment now for other exes i'll suggest you go for dust buster especially in group battles dust buster can help you survive a lot longer then royal fire can also be helpful but um it's not really as good as dust buster if you ask me <laughs> The only problem with Dust Buster is long cooldown. After that, we have Judgment. Judgment is a great EX for this class, but the cooldown, you can only actually use this probably once in a deal, and that's if you survive longer. Now for the Dragons, you can use Fenrir. This can help you survive longer. Um, next will be Norton. And finally, Leviathan. Now this is in no particular order, these are just the 6 stars I think are good for this class. For the 5 stars, of course the first will be Serpent Steel, <laughs> it can help you kill your opponent a lot faster. And finally the Wingless Howl, this, let's just say it's made for this class in a way. So that's it for the Dragons. For the Gears, for this class I will suggest you have, no matter your level, have Kraken, 4 piece of Kraken. Or war trees for I or war trees for I I. You must have this to help you proc the shield. Trust me, it makes quite a lot of difference in deals. Now you can use four pieces of all of this defensive set. That's war trees for krakens or war trees for I I, and six piece set venom, venom or frigus key. Why I said venom and not Ragnarok is cause this class four skill, which has a chance of freezing the opponent and removing super armor. If you combine it with this venom or frigus key. You're gonna be a CC machine, so <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be stunning a lot of opponents. And like we know, this class isn't really doesn't really heal as much as the sword and or the other classes. So stunning your opponents can be quite helpful. <laughs> now for seven scenes, wrath is definitely a good choice. Next will be pride, and finally we have fuse. Those are the three seven scenes I think are good for this class. And finally some last minute advice for those of you who reached the end of the video. Um, I will suggest if you are going to use any drag for this class then you will want to go for Wind Tamer. So this drag is actually very good for this class, especially if you are fighting a fellow illusionist you will want to be mobile as much as possible because you don't want to be caged by them. Now another drag I will suggest will be the Unbreakable Wheel. This increases the duration of your super armor so every time you dash you're definitely gonna be having four seconds of super armor not two seconds this is perfect against the blade masters and the sword dancer classes so with this the chances of you being turned into dock is gonna be quite low you know especially if you combine it with the wind tamer drag now the rotation i use especially on one verse ones is you first want to remove the super armor of the opponents with your ex so let's try it First, you want to remove super ammo, cage them, and stun them. So, that's it. <laughs> so, with this combo, trust me, if you haven't gotten the opponent's health to half or less than half, then you're probably going to lose the duel. <laughs> yeah, and that'll be it for the guide. I'm really sorry if I sounded weird throughout this guide video. Um, anyway, I hope this video is helpful to you guys and if it is, if it helps you in any way, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Um, because I am actually down now, I don't know if I'll be able to play arena or if I'm going to be able to talk in my arena videos. But I will try. But honestly, right now, um, everything about playing games or whatever just disgusts me. <laughs> I feel this way whenever I'm not feeling fine. So. 
hopefully i'll have enough strength and i'll be well by arena thanks again guys for watching please hit the subscribe icon and as always i'll see you in the next video take care